My name is Stefina Yulianti. I'm from Mathematics Education of Muhammadiyah Professor Dr. Hamka University. And now I will explain about some materials. First is about complementary angles. Second is supplementary angles. The third is vertical angles. And the last is adjacent angles. So let's check it out. First of all, we must know what is angle. Angle in geometry is magnitude of a rotation of a line segment from one base point to another position. Two angles can be related if certain conditions are met. Here, we will learn how to identify this kind of angles and use the correct term to describe them. Firstly, I'll explain about complementary angles. What is complementary angles? Two angles are called complementary when their sum is 90 degrees. In the figure, the alpha and beta angles together form a right angle. I have another examples of complementary angles. This picture is one of the examples of complementary angles. Because they have 60 degrees and 30 degrees, and their sum is 90 degrees so these pictures are called complementary angles I have an example question to solve the complementary angles here it is the question is it is given to angles X and Y are complementary the magnitude of angle X is 34 degrees determine the value of angle y the solution is if angles x and y are complementary angles so the x and y are 90 degrees as we know the value of x is 34 degrees x plus y equal 90 degrees x is 34 so 34 degrees plus y equal 90 degrees y equal 90 degrees minus minus 34 degrees y equal 56 degrees so the magnitude of angle y is 56 degrees secondly we move on to supplementary angles. What is the definition of supplementary angles? Two angles are called supplementary angles when their sum is 180 degrees. In the figure, the alpha and beta angles together form a straight angle. For example, is like this 140 degrees and 40 degrees in this picture are called supplementary angles because they add up to 180 degrees the third material is about vertical angles do you know the definition of vertical angles? The angles opposite each other when the line cross. In the figure, the 1 and 3 are vertically opposite angles, and they are always equal. Same goes for angles 2 and 4. This is an example of vertical angles. We can see that angle 
AEC is equal with angle DEB because they are vertically opposite angles. Same goes for angle AED and angle CEB. I have an example question to solve the vertical angles. Here it is. The question is find angles A degrees, B degrees, and C degrees below. The value of D is 40 degrees. First, we can find the value of B degrees because the D degrees and B degrees are vertical angles. So, the value of B degrees is equal from D degrees, so the answer of B degrees is 40 degrees. And then, we can find the A degrees by using the supplementary angles between A and D degrees. As we know, D is 40 degrees, so to find the A degrees is just subtracting the D degrees by 180 degrees. 180 degrees minus 40 degrees is 140 degrees, so the value of A degrees is 140 degrees. And the last, we can find the value of C degrees by using vertical angles. The A degrees and C degrees are vertical, so the value is always equal. So the answer value of A degrees is 140 degrees. So the answer are A degrees is 140 degrees, B degrees is 40 degrees, and C degrees is 140 degrees. And the last material is about adjacent angles. What is adjacent angles? Two angles are adjacent when they have a common side and a common vertex or corner point and they do not overlap. In the figure, alpha and beta are adjacent angles. I have an example of what an is an in adjacent angles. First, these examples are ad are adjacent angles because they share a side and a vertex. For the second example, is not an adjacent angles because they only share a vertex, not a side. Then the third example is not an adjacent angles because they only share a side, not a vertex. And the last example is not an adjacent angles because angles A and B are overlap. Well, that brings us to the end of the final section. Now, I'd like to summarize by complementary angles. Complementary angles is two angles that the sum is 90 degrees. Supplementary angles is two angles that the sum is 180 degrees. Vertical angles is the angles opposite each other when the line cross and they are always equal. And the last is adjacent angles is two angles who share a common vertex and side and they do not overlap. I think it's enough for me. I hope this video can give you many advantage. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video to your family and friends. Thank you so much friends. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye-bye. See you next time.